When a narcissist turns people against you, this is what you should do that you never think about. Stoicism. When a narcissist turns people against you, this is what you should do that you may never think about. Welcome back to Stoic in Your Life. I'm thrilled to have you with us as we dive into one of the most perplexing and challenging scenarios many of us face, dealing with the manipulative tactics of a narcissist, especially when they turn others against us. Today, we're delving into the concept of flying monkeys, those individuals who, knowingly or unknowingly, act on behalf of the narcissist, furthering their agenda and making our lives more difficult. But don't worry, we're here to arm you with the wisdom and strategies grounded in Stoic philosophy to help you navigate these turbulent waters with grace and resilience. In today's video, we'll explore practical steps you can take, drawing from the timeless teachings of Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus. We'll discuss how to maintain your inner peace and integrity, even when faced with the most trying circumstances. By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer understanding of how to respond to these situations in ways you might not have thought possible. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Make sure to hit the notification bell and subscribe to Stoic in Your Life so you never miss an update. We've got a wealth of videos coming your way, filled with insightful and actionable advice to help you apply Stoic principles to modern life. So get comfortable. And let's dive into how you can outmaneuver narcissistic manipulation with the power of Stoicism. 1. Understanding Flying Monkeys Picture this. A narcissistic person in your life, maybe a partner, friend, or colleague, starts to poison the minds of those around you, creating what is often referred to as flying monkeys. These flying monkeys are individuals manipulated by the narcissist to believe false narratives about you, be they your parents, friends, siblings, or colleagues. Their goal? To dismantle your support system, leaving you isolated and vulnerable. Understanding and effectively managing this situation is crucial, and today we'll delve into strategies that can help you not only cope, but also rise above this toxic dynamic. As Marcus Aurelius once said, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. When you find yourself the target of a narcissist's smear campaign, the first step is to remain calm and composed. Stoicism teaches us that we cannot control others' actions, but we can control our responses. Panicking or reacting impulsively will only give the narcissist more ammunition to use against you. Instead, take a deep breath and assess the situation objectively. Recall the wisdom of Epictetus who reminded us, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By maintaining your composure, you protect your peace of mind and demonstrate strength and stability to those around you. Next, consider the importance of clear and open communication. When a narcissist spreads lies about you, addressing the issue directly with the people involved is essential. Approach your parents, friends, siblings, or colleagues calmly and explain your side of the story without badmouthing the narcissist. Keep the focus on your feelings and experiences rather than attacking the other person. This method helps to build trust and shows that you are not afraid to confront the issue head on. Remember, honesty is the first chapter in the Book of Wisdom. As Thomas Jefferson wisely noted, your honesty and transparency can help others see through the narcissist's deceit. Additionally, reinforcing your boundaries is vital. Narcissists thrive on crossing boundaries and creating chaos. Stand firm in your values and principles, making it clear what behavior you will not tolerate. Establishing these boundaries helps protect your mental and emotional well-being and signals to the flying monkeys that you are not easily swayed or manipulated. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca advised, no person has the power to have everything they want but it is in their power not to want what they don't have and to cheerfully put to good use what they do have. Use this mindset to reinforce your boundaries and prioritize your peace. While dealing with the immediate situation, focus on strengthening your inner circle. Cultivate relationships with those who genuinely know and support you. 
engage in activities that reinforce your self-worth and confidence. This could mean spending more time with trusted friends, engaging in hobbies that bring you joy, or seeking professional guidance such as therapy to help navigate the emotional turmoil. Friendship is the only cement that will ever hold the world together, said Woodrow Wilson. By investing in genuine connections, you build a resilient support system that a narcissist's manipulations cannot easily penetrate. Reflecting on stoic principles, remember to practice self-reflection and resilience. Use this challenging experience as an opportunity for personal growth. Ask yourself how you can emerge stronger and wiser from this situation. Marcus Aurelius encouraged us with the words, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Embracing this perspective allows you to see adversity as a chance to fortify your character and enhance your emotional resilience. Lastly, Always prioritize self-care. The stress of dealing with a narcissist and their flying monkeys can take a toll on your mental and physical health. Ensure you are taking care of yourself by engaging in activities that promote relaxation and well-being. This might include exercise, meditation, spending time in nature, or simply taking time each day to do something you love. The Roman poet Juvenal wisely stated, Mens sana in corpore sano which means a healthy mind in a healthy body. By maintaining your well-being, you equip yourself with the strength to handle the challenges that come your way. Navigating the turbulent waters when a narcissist turns people against you requires a calm, composed, and strategic approach. By maintaining your composure, communicating openly, reinforcing boundaries, strengthening your support network, practicing self-reflection, and prioritizing self-care, you can effectively counter the narcissist's tactics and emerge stronger. Remember the words of Marcus Aurelius. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Each obstacle is an opportunity to grow and strengthen your resolve. By applying these strategies, you not only protect yourself, but also set an example of resilience and integrity for others to follow. Stay strong. And remember that true power lies in your response to the challenges life presents. 2. The Flying Monkey Dynamic Navigating the treacherous waters of a narcissistic relationship can feel like fighting an unseen enemy. When that narcissist begins turning people against you, it can feel like your world is collapsing. But remember, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Marcus Aurelius Understanding the dynamics at play and knowing how to respond is crucial in reclaiming your peace and dignity. In the often hostile landscape of divorce, one troubling phenomenon that frequently emerges is the flying monkey dynamic. This term, borrowed from the malevolent minions in The Wizard of Oz, perfectly encapsulates the strategy employed by narcissistic individuals. These flying monkeys are the mutual acquaintances, friends, or even family members who become unwitting pawns in the narcissist's manipulative game. In the throes of separation, the narcissist exploits the shared social circles, systematically approaching the soon-to-be ex-partner's friends and family. Their mission? To spin a web of deceit painting themselves as the victim while casting their partner in a villainous light. This calculated campaign of character assassination is designed to erode the partner's support system, leaving them isolated and vulnerable. The impact of this insidious tactic is profound. The partner, already battered by relentless gaslighting and emotional manipulation within the relationship, begins to question their own worth and reality even more deeply. The betrayal cuts deeper when those they once trusted and relied upon start to view them through the narcissist's distorted lens. The power imbalance grows as the narcissist appears to gain the upper hand, fortified by the sympathies and support of these swayed individuals. Understanding the flying monkey dynamic is crucial for anyone caught in its crosshairs. Firstly, it's essential to recognize that the narcissist's ability to turn people against you is not a reflection of your value or truth, but rather a testament to their manipulative prowess. 
Marcus Aurelius wisely noted, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. In this context, it's imperative to guard your thoughts and not let the narcissist's false narrative stain your self-perception. Secondly, it's vital to maintain your integrity and composure. The narcissist thrives on chaos and emotional reactions, which serve to validate their portrayal of you as unstable or irrational. By staying calm and composed, you undermine their narrative. Seneca once said, A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. This trial, painful as it is, is an opportunity to strengthen your character and resilience. Thirdly, consider who among your circle is truly loyal and discerning. True friends will seek to understand both sides of the story rather than blindly accepting one narrative. Epictetus taught, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Encourage open, honest communication with those who matter to you. Share your experiences and feelings without resorting to the narcissist's level of deceit or manipulation. Fourth, seek support from those outside the narcissist's reach. Professional counselors, support groups, and new social circles can provide the validation and perspective that might be lacking within your current network. This external support acts as a buffer against the emotional turmoil the narcissist seeks to inflict. As Marcus Aurelius advised, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Use this adversity to propel yourself towards new, healthier relationships and environments. Lastly, focus on rebuilding your self-esteem and personal strength. The narcissist's ultimate goal is to leave you doubting yourself and your reality. By investing in self-care, personal growth, and mental health, you can reclaim your sense of self. Engage in activities that reaffirm your worth and bring you joy. Remember, your value is not determined by the narcissist's narrative, but by your own intrinsic qualities and actions. In today's interconnected world, the flying monkey dynamic can extend beyond personal acquaintances to include social media networks. A narcissist might use platforms like Facebook or Instagram to spread their misinformation further. It's essential to manage your digital footprint carefully, set boundaries on social media, limit what you share publicly, and be mindful of who you allow into your online spaces. Block or mute the narcissist and their enablers if necessary to protect your mental well-being. Navigating the fallout of a narcissist's smear campaign requires a blend of stoic resilience and practical strategy. He who fears he will suffer, already suffers, because he fears. Michel de Montaigne Don't let the fear of their manipulation control you. Focus on your truth. Stay connected to those who genuinely support you and seek new avenues of support and self-care. This journey is undoubtedly challenging, but it is also a pathway to greater strength, wisdom, and peace. When a narcissist turns people against you, remember to stand firm in your truth, seek supportive allies, and invest in your own well-being. The Stoic philosophers remind us that adversity is not just a challenge, but an opportunity for growth. As you navigate this difficult terrain, Hold on to your integrity, protect your mental health, and move forward with the knowledge that you have the power to reclaim your narrative and your life. 3. Narcissists' Manipulative Tactics When dealing with a narcissist who turns people against you, it's essential to understand the manipulative tactics they employ. How do they achieve this, you may wonder? Narcissists possess an extraordinary ability to charm and captivate those around them. Their charisma and seemingly generous demeanor often mask their true intentions. They know exactly how to present themselves as knowledgeable and socially adept, making it easy for them to gain the trust and admiration of others. They use this charm to create a facade of rationality and emotional intelligence, drawing people into their web of deception. Imagine a scenario where a narcissist is attempting to tarnish the reputation of someone close to you, be it your daughter, sister, or friend. They may use a patronizing tone, feigning concern as they relay damaging and hurtful information about your loved one. Their goal is to shape the narrative, painting themselves in a favorable light while casting doubt and suspicion on others. This is a deliberate strategy to elevate their status and undermine the relationships around you. 
But what can you do in the face of such manipulation? First, it's crucial to recognize the signs of a narcissist's influence. They often engage in behaviors such as gaslighting, where they distort the truth to make you question your reality. They might spread lies or half-truths, designed to create conflict and mistrust. It's important to stay grounded and maintain your perspective. Remember the words of the ancient Stoic philosopher Epictetus. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By keeping a clear mind and not allowing the narcissist's manipulations to cloud your judgment, you can better navigate the situation. Ask yourself, why is the narcissist targeting you and your loved ones? What do they stand to gain from creating discord? Understanding their motives can provide insight into their actions. Narcissists often crave attention and validation, and by turning people against you, they feed their need for control and admiration. This realization can help you detach emotionally and view their behavior objectively. To counteract their influence, it's vital to communicate openly and honestly with those affected by the narcissist's lies. Share your perspective and provide evidence if necessary to counter the falsehoods being spread. Building a support network of trusted friends and family members can also help reinforce your position and provide a buffer against the narcissist's attempts to isolate you. Marcus Aurelius, another renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. Instead of stooping to their level, focus on maintaining your integrity and demonstrating the truth through your actions. Have you ever considered the power of empathy in disarming a narcissist? By understanding their deep-seated insecurities and the reasons behind their manipulative behavior, you can respond with compassion rather than anger. This doesn't mean excusing their actions, but rather acknowledging that their need for validation stems from a place of weakness. Empathy can diffuse tense situations and prevent you from being drawn into their drama. Think about the long-term impact of your response. How can you protect your mental and emotional well-being while dealing with a narcissist? Setting boundaries is crucial. Clearly define what behaviors are unacceptable and stand firm in enforcing these limits. This may involve limiting contact or even cutting ties with the narcissist if necessary. Your peace of mind and the health of your relationships are paramount. It's also beneficial to reflect on the lessons learned from this experience. What has dealing with a narcissist taught you about yourself and your resilience? How can you use this knowledge to grow and strengthen your character? The Stoics believed in using adversity as a tool for personal development. Seneca, a prominent Stoic thinker, wrote, Difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. Embrace the challenges posed by the narcissist as opportunities to cultivate inner strength and wisdom. Engage with your audience by asking open-ended questions that prompt deeper reflection. How have you dealt with manipulative individuals in the past? What strategies have worked for you? And what lessons have you learned? By sharing experiences and insights, we can support one another in overcoming the challenges posed by narcissistic behavior. When a narcissist turns people against you, remember that their charm and charisma are tools of manipulation. Stay grounded, communicate openly, and build a support network to counteract their influence. Use empathy to understand their motives, set clear boundaries, and view the experience as an opportunity for personal growth. As you navigate this difficult situation, remember the wisdom of the Stoics and maintain your integrity and resilience. How will you apply these strategies in your own life, and what steps will you take to protect your well-being and relationships? Four, protecting yourself from manipulation. Protecting yourself from manipulation by a narcissist can be a daunting task, especially when they deploy their most insidious tactics. Weaponizing past arguments and weaving elaborate stories filled with outright fabrications, their goal is unambiguous. They crave power, and the only way to secure this power is through the unwavering support of those around them. Their strategies, though reminiscent of childish playground antics, are far more calculated and dangerous, driven by an unrelenting desire for control. This need to dominate stems from a deep-seated superiority complex that validates itself 
each time they win people over and consolidate their influence. To navigate such treacherous waters, you must first recognize the fundamental nature of a narcissist's manipulations. This recognition is akin to the wisdom imparted by Marcus Aurelius when he said, The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. Understand that the narcissist's power play is designed to provoke you, to drag you down to their level where they can outmaneuver you. Instead, rise above their games by maintaining your composure and refusing to engage on their terms. This approach disarms them as they thrive on your emotional reactions. In practical terms, this means setting clear boundaries and enforcing them consistently. Just as Epictetus taught us, it's not what happens to you but how you react to it that matters. When a narcissist tries to twist your words or actions, calmly reaffirm your boundaries without getting drawn into their drama. Remember, their goal is to elicit a reaction from you, so the less you react, the less power they have over you. Another crucial aspect is to fortify your support network. Narcissists excel at isolating their targets, making you feel alone and dependent on them. Seek out friends, family, or professional counselors who can offer you perspective and support. Seneca wisely noted, One of the most beautiful qualities of true friendship is to understand and to be understood. Surround yourself with people who genuinely care about your well-being and can help you see through the narcissist's deceit. It's also vital to document interactions with the narcissist. Keeping a record of conversations and incidents can be invaluable, especially when their fabrications come to light. This documentation can serve as evidence, protecting you from further manipulation. As the old adage goes, trust, but verify. Furthermore, focus on self-improvement and personal growth. A narcissist's control diminishes when you become more confident and self-reliant. Engage in activities that boost your self-esteem and independence. Whether it's pursuing a hobby, advancing your career, or investing in your education, each step you take towards bettering yourself makes you less susceptible to their control. Reflecting on the teachings of the Stoics, particularly the concept of amor fati, or loving one's fate, can be empowering. Embrace your circumstances, however challenging, as an opportunity for growth and resilience. By adopting this mindset, you transform adversity into a stepping stone towards a stronger, wiser self. In dealing with a narcissist, it's crucial to remember that their reality is often a distorted one, built on lies and self-aggrandizement. As you stay grounded in your truth and values, their manipulative efforts will gradually lose their impact. To quote Friedrich Nietzsche, he who fights with monsters should be careful lest he thereby become a monster. And if you gaze long enough into an abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you. Maintain your integrity and self-awareness to avoid being pulled into their toxic vortex. Lastly, consider the power of forgiveness, not for the narcissist's sake, but for your own peace of mind. Holding on to anger and resentment only gives them more power over you. As the Dalai Lama says, Forgive others not because they deserve forgiveness, but because you deserve peace. Letting go of the emotional baggage they leave behind frees you to move forward unencumbered by their past actions. Protecting yourself from a narcissist's manipulation involves recognizing their tactics, setting and enforcing boundaries, building a strong support network, documenting interactions, focusing on self improvement, embracing adversity as a growth opportunity staying grounded in your truth, and ultimately, finding peace through forgiveness. By adhering to these principles, you can navigate the turbulent waters of narcissistic manipulation with resilience and grace, emerging stronger and wiser on the other side. Thank the audience for being in this video. Have you ever experienced a situation where someone tried to turn others against you? How did you handle it? And what did you learn from the experience? If you are not sure how to write a comment, you can share a situation where you have faced a narcissistic person and how you handled it. Or you can ask the community for their opinion on the best way to handle such situations. Five, coping with emotional fallout.
When faced with the devastating reality of a narcissist turning people against you, it can feel like your entire world is crumbling. This manipulative tactic, often used by those with narcissistic tendencies, is designed to isolate and control you by poisoning the minds of those around you. But there is hope and a way forward that many might not consider. Navigating the emotional wreckage caused by a narcissist's manipulations requires a strategic and compassionate approach. The first essential step is to give yourself the space and time to process the whirlwind of emotions that accompany such a betrayal. Marcus Aurelius once said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This profound insight from Stoic philosophy can guide us through the murky waters of emotional turmoil. Acknowledge the grief and hurt that arise when a narcissist spreads falsehoods about you, turning once close allies into distant acquaintances. It is natural to feel a deep sense of loss and isolation as people whom you trusted start avoiding you, not returning your calls, or canceling plans. These feelings are valid and it's crucial to honor them. In these moments, prioritizing your well being becomes paramount. Seek solace in trusted friends and family members who can offer a listening ear and unbiased support. If the weight of the situation feels too heavy, don't hesitate to reach out to a therapist. This professional guidance can help you navigate the mental toll and develop healthy coping mechanisms. As Epictetus wisely put it, it's not what happens to you but how you react to it that matters. Embrace this philosophy to regain control over your reactions and emotions. As you start to rebuild your emotional fortitude, remember that the behavior of others is a reflection of their character, not yours. The whispers and false narratives spun by the narcissist are beyond your control. What you can control is your response. Establishing boundaries is a powerful way to protect your mental space. Limit interactions with those who have been swayed by the narcissist's lies. This isn't about cutting people off completely, but about preserving your peace of mind. Seneca, another great Stoic philosopher, said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Don't allow the fear of others' perceptions to dictate your actions. Simultaneously, it is vital to focus on self-care and personal growth. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment, whether it's a hobby, exercise, or simply spending time in nature. These positive experiences can counterbalance the negativity imposed by the narcissist's actions. By nurturing your well-being, you bolster your resilience against future manipulations. Building a strong support network is another crucial step. Surround yourself with people who understand and respect you. These individuals can provide a buffer against the toxic influence of the narcissist. Remember, the quality of your relationships is more important than the quantity. It's better to have a few genuine connections than many superficial ones. As Ralph Waldo Emerson famously said, the only way to have a friend is to be one. Cultivate these relationships with sincerity and mutual respect. Additionally, consider documenting your experiences. Keeping a journal can be therapeutic and help you track your emotional journey. Writing down your thoughts and feelings allows you to process them more effectively and can serve as a record of your progress. This practice aligns with the stoic exercise of self-reflection, helping you to gain clarity and perspective. Lastly, embrace the power of forgiveness. This doesn't mean you condone the narcissist's behavior, but rather that you refuse to let their actions control your life. Holding on to anger and resentment only harms you. As Buddha wisely noted, holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. By letting go of these toxic emotions, you free yourself to move forward with a lighter heart. Dealing with the fallout of a narcissist's manipulations is undoubtedly challenging, but by following these steps, you can reclaim your peace and rebuild your life. Remember the wisdom of the Stoics and other great thinkers. Focus on what you can control, seek support, prioritize self-care, establish healthy boundaries, and let go of anger. By doing so, you will not only survive this ordeal, but emerge stronger and more resilient. The path to recovery is not easy, but with determination and the right mindset, you can overcome the adversity imposed by a narcissist 
and find a renewed sense of self. Six, standing your ground. When dealing with a narcissist who turns people against you, it's crucial to stand firm and respond to their unfounded accusations with clear evidence and open communication. Imagine this scenario. During a family gathering, you, the good-natured sibling, notice a sudden chill in the room. Everyone's demeanor towards you is icy, and you can't understand why. You start to replay your recent interactions in your mind, wondering if you've said or done something offensive. You question yourself, thinking maybe you missed an important date or an anniversary. This confusion lingers for months, leaving you unsettled and anxious. Then, out of the blue, a friend from your social circle reveals that your sibling has been spreading lies and malicious rumors about you behind your back. The revelation hits you like a ton of bricks. Looking back, you see how the narcissist manipulated everyone, twisting the narrative to isolate you. Shocking, isn't it? This situation is more common than you might think. Narcissists thrive on creating chaos and sowing discord to maintain control and power. When they target you, their aim is to undermine your reputation and erode your support network. It's a calculated move designed to leave you feeling alone and defenseless. As Marcus Aurelius once said, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. Your response should be calm, collected, and grounded in truth. So what can you do in such a situation? First, gather your evidence. Document instances where the narcissist's claims can be disproven. This might include saving texts, emails, or any form of communication that showcases the reality of your interactions. Concrete proof can help you present a clear and undeniable case when you address the issue with those who have been misled. Next, engage in direct and honest communication with the people affected. Approach them individually and calmly explain the situation. Share your evidence and express your feelings without resorting to anger or defensiveness. The goal is to rebuild trust and clear up misunderstandings. This is a chance to show your integrity and sincerity, qualities that will stand out against the narcissist's deceit. Ask yourself, what can you learn from this experience? How can it make you stronger? Every challenge is an opportunity for growth. Reflect on the situation and consider how you can apply the lessons learned to future interactions. Epictetus, another Stoic philosopher, reminds us, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Use this wisdom to guide your actions and responses. As you navigate this difficult situation, remember to lean on your support system. True friends and family who know your character will stand by you. Don't hesitate to share your experience with them and seek their advice and encouragement. Their perspective can provide valuable insights and help you stay grounded. It's also essential to take care of your mental and emotional well-being. Dealing with a narcissist's manipulations can be draining and stressful. Engage in activities that bring you peace and joy, whether it's spending time in nature practicing mindfulness, or pursuing a hobby you love. Maintaining your inner balance will help you stay resilient. Consider this. How does the narcissist's behavior reflect their inner turmoil? Narcissists often act out of deep-seated insecurities and a desperate need for validation. While this doesn't excuse their actions, it can help you detach emotionally and view the situation with greater clarity. Understanding their motivations can empower you to respond with empathy and strength rather than anger. Now, let's think about the broader implications. How can your experience help others in similar situations? Sharing your story can offer guidance and support to those who might be struggling with a narcissist in their lives. It can be a beacon of hope, showing that it's possible to stand up to manipulation and emerge stronger. As you move forward, keep in mind the words of Seneca. Difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. Each challenge you face builds your resilience and fortitude. By staying true to yourself and your values, you can navigate even the most trying situations with grace and wisdom. Let's reflect on these questions. How can you maintain your integrity in the face of false accusations? 
What steps can you take to rebuild trust with those who have been misled? And most importantly, how can you use this experience to grow and become a better version of yourself? Your journey is a testament to your strength and perseverance. Embrace it, learn from it, and continue to stand your ground with unwavering confidence. Seven, the pain of manipulation. Have you ever felt the sting of betrayal when someone you trusted turned others against you? It's a gut-wrenching experience, especially when orchestrated by a narcissist who thrives on manipulation and chaos. Now, we'll delve into this painful reality and uncover a powerful strategy you might never have considered to reclaim your peace and strength. When a narcissist manipulates those around you, the pain is indescribable. Watching how effortlessly they twist perceptions and sway opinions can break your heart. Imagine being the kind brother who suddenly finds himself isolated, abandoned by a support network he once relied upon. His grief is palpable, reflecting the agony many of us endure when faced with similar betrayals. This isn't just a family issue. The repercussions ripple through our workplaces, communities, and social circles, leaving us vulnerable and hurt. Narcissists are masterful in their manipulative tactics, often leaving us questioning our own reality. Their lack of empathy means they rarely comprehend the full impact of their actions, focusing solely on their own needs and desires. The damage they cause is profound, shaking the very foundations of trust and relationships. In such moments, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and powerless. The emotional toll can be immense, leading to anxiety, depression, and a profound sense of loss. But here lies an opportunity for growth and resilience. As Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This quote beautifully encapsulates the Stoic approach to adversity, using challenges as stepping stones to inner strength. When dealing with a narcissist's manipulation, it's crucial to remember that their power lies in our reaction. The first step is to regain control over your emotions. Recognize that their behavior is a reflection of their inner turmoil, not your worth. By maintaining your composure and not reacting impulsively, you deny them the satisfaction of seeing you distressed. This aligns with Epictetus's teaching. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Next, seek support from those who understand and value you. It's essential to rebuild your support network with individuals who are empathetic and trustworthy. This could be friends, family, or even professional counselors who can offer a safe space to express your feelings and gain perspective. Seneca. Another Stoic philosopher advised, One of the most beautiful qualities of true friendship is to understand and to be understood. Surrounding yourself with such understanding can significantly bolster your resilience. Furthermore, focus on self-care and personal growth. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. This not only helps in healing, but also strengthens your sense of self-worth. By investing in yourself, you create a buffer against the negative impact of the narcissist's actions. Remember the words of Epictetus, he who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. Embracing this attitude can transform your outlook and empower you to rise above the manipulation. It's also beneficial to set clear boundaries. Narcissists often push limits to see how much they can get away with. By establishing firm boundaries, you protect yourself from further harm. Be assertive yet calm in communicating your limits and don't hesitate to enforce them. This act of self-respect sends a strong message that you value your well-being and will not tolerate abusive behavior. Reflect on the experience and extract lessons from it. Every challenge, no matter how painful, carries valuable insights. Use this situation as a learning opportunity to understand human behavior, strengthen your emotional intelligence, and enhance your resilience. As Marcus Aurelius noted, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. 
Finally, practice forgiveness, not for the narcissist, but for yourself. Holding on to anger and resentment only prolongs your suffering. By forgiving, you release the emotional hold the narcissist has over you, allowing yourself to move forward with peace and clarity. This doesn't mean you condone their actions. Rather, it signifies your decision to prioritize your own healing. In modern life, where social dynamics are complex and fast-paced, encountering narcissists can feel inevitable. However, by adopting a stoic mindset and focusing on what you can control, your reactions, your boundaries, and your personal growth, you can navigate these challenges with grace and resilience. Remember, adversity is an opportunity in disguise. Embrace it, learn from it, and emerge stronger. To those facing such manipulation, know that you are not alone. Many have walked this path and emerged wiser and more resilient. Draw strength from their experiences and trust in your ability to overcome. As Seneca wisely said, difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. With the right mindset and support, you can turn this painful experience into a powerful catalyst for personal transformation. Eight, evaluating relationships. In the throes of navigating life's challenges, there's an insidious situation that many men, especially those between the ages of 30 to 65, might find themselves grappling with. Being ostracized by friends, family, or colleagues due to the manipulative actions of a narcissist, it's a scenario that not only tests your resilience, but also your understanding of the true nature of relationships. Let's delve into this profound issue with a stoic mindset and discover what you should do when a narcissist turns people against you, with insights you might have never considered. When you revisit the painful episodes where the narcissist's deceit led to losing people who mattered, the initial reaction is one of hurt and confusion. It feels like a betrayal by those who once seemed steadfast. Reflecting on this, you might ask yourself, were these individuals genuinely valuable to keep in your life? The quick answer might be yes, given the history and shared experiences. However, the deeper truth requires introspection. Those who were fond of you and could dispel the narcissist's negative influence quickly demonstrated a resilience and loyalty worth cherishing. Contrarily, the ones who readily believed the lies and turned their backs without seeking your side of the story reveal a critical weakness in the relationship's foundation. As Seneca wisely said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have. This teaching encourages us to evaluate our relationships based on their present strength and authenticity rather than the weight of their history. It's a bitter pill to swallow, especially when those who abandoned you were friends or family known for decades. Yet this adversity is a clarifying moment. It sheds light on the true nature of your connections. If these individuals were so easily swayed by a narcissist's story, it questions the depth and sincerity of your bond with them. More importantly, why didn't they come to you directly to express their concerns or seek clarification? This lack of direct communication signals a significant flaw in mutual trust and respect. The emotional turmoil of losing such relationships can feel overwhelming. It's crucial to channel this pain into constructive self-reflection. Marcus Aurelius once remarked, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By embracing this stoic wisdom, you begin to understand that the worth of a relationship isn't measured solely by its duration, but by the integrity and mutual respect it upholds. In modern life, this perspective is invaluable. We live in a fast-paced world where relationships can be as fleeting as they are deep. Hence, fostering connections that are resilient to external manipulations is paramount. Expanding on this point, consider the qualities of the people who remained by your side. These individuals showcase discernment, loyalty, and an unwavering belief in you. Their ability to see through the narcissist's facade reflects their strong character and the genuine bond you share. Such relationships are worth nurturing and investing in. In contrast, 
Those who distance themselves easily highlight an opportunity for you to reassess your social circle and invest your emotional energy more wisely. Epictetus, another great Stoic philosopher, said, It's not what happens to you but how you react to it that matters. This statement reinforces the idea that the control lies within your response to the situation. By adopting a Stoic approach, you can transform this adversity into a learning experience. Rather than lamenting the loss of fair-weather friends, focus on fortifying the connections that withstand the test of integrity and time. In practical terms, start by fostering open communication in your remaining relationships. Encourage honesty and transparency. These principles build a resilient foundation that a narcissist's manipulations cannot easily shake. Reflect on your own actions and ensure that you are a friend who practices these values. By doing so, you create an environment where true bonds can flourish and withstand external pressures. Another essential aspect is to cultivate a community or network of like-minded individuals who value authenticity and truth. Engaging in activities or groups that promote these values can help you build new, stronger relationships. Additionally, focus on personal growth and self-improvement. The stronger and more self-assured you become, the less vulnerable you are to the destructive tactics of a narcissist. Relating this to modern life, consider the impact of social media and digital communication. These platforms can amplify a narcissist's reach and influence. Be mindful of how you engage online and prioritize face-to-face -face interactions where misunderstandings are less likely to fester. Building a support system in the digital age requires vigilance and a commitment to maintaining genuine connections. Ultimately, when a narcissist turns people against you, it's a call to reassess and realign your social bonds. Embrace the wisdom of Stoicism to navigate this turmoil with grace and strength. By focusing on the quality of your relationships and responding with integrity, you not only protect yourself from future manipulations but also enrich your life with authentic and resilient connections. As you move forward, remember the stoic adage, he who fears death will never do anything worthy of a man who is alive. Face this challenge with courage, knowing that it's an opportunity to refine your social circle and emerge stronger. Nine, importance of communication. When you find yourself in the painful situation where a narcissist is turning people against you, especially when that person is a family member, spouse, or someone close, it underscores the critical importance of communication. Think about the sting of betrayal as someone you trusted spreads lies and rumors, attempting to tarnish your reputation. This is when the true value of direct and open conversations becomes apparent. It's essential for those in your circle to take a step back from the venomous tales spun by the narcissist and muster the courage to speak with you directly. Think about it. If your friends and family genuinely cared about your well-being, wouldn't they reach out to you instead of blindly believing hearsay? Reflect on the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus. We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This wisdom is especially pertinent in situations involving a narcissist's deceit. When you communicate openly, you allow space for truth to emerge, dispelling the shadows cast by falsehoods. Those who truly value their relationship with you, like the kind brother in the story, will be the first to approach you and say, Hey, I just heard something and it was pretty upsetting. Such individuals are the ones who cherish their bond with you and seek clarity, rather than succumbing to poisonous gossip. Now consider the impact of these words. How often do we let assumptions dictate our actions, instead of seeking the truth directly from the source? When faced with the malicious intent of a narcissist, it's crucial to foster an environment where open dialogue is encouraged. By doing so, we not only protect ourselves, but also nurture the relationships that matter. Remember the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, who said, The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. In the context of dealing with a narcissist, this means rising above their tactics by maintaining integrity and fostering honest communication. Ask yourself, how can you cultivate such a culture of openness in your relationships?
It starts with being the person who reaches out, who asks questions rather than assuming, and who listens more than they speak. By embodying these values, you set a standard for others to follow. Imagine a community where instead of falling prey to rumors, people are driven by a genuine desire to understand and support one another. This is the antidote to the toxicity spread by narcissists. It's also worth exploring why people might believe the narcissist's lies in the first place. Often, it's because these individuals haven't been taught the importance of critical thinking and open communication. In a world where we're bombarded with information, it's easy to take things at face value. But as Seneca wisely pointed out, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. In our context, this craving can be for drama, for excitement, or for the semblance of being in the know. Encouraging those around you to seek out the truth and approach you directly can be a powerful way to combat this. Consider the power of empathy in these situations. Empathy is the bridge that allows for meaningful conversations. When someone comes to you with concerns based on what they've heard, approach them with understanding rather than defensiveness. This openness can transform a potential confrontation into an opportunity for deeper connection. How can you foster empathy in your interactions? Start by putting yourself in the other person's shoes, understanding that they too are victims of the narcissist's manipulation. By addressing their concerns calmly and honestly, you dismantle the narcissist's web of lies. Moreover, it's vital to remember that not everyone will have the courage or the awareness to come to you directly. Some might be swayed by the narcissist's charisma or intimidation. For those individuals, it's important to demonstrate, through your actions and consistent behavior, that you are trustworthy and genuine. As Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. By consistently embodying the principles of honesty and open communication, you eventually expose the narcissist's true nature to all. To those who have been turned against you, extend grace but remain steadfast in your truth. Over time your integrity will shine through, and the facade created by the narcissist will crumble. The path of open communication and direct confrontation of falsehoods is not always easy, but it is the most effective way to protect your reputation and maintain healthy relationships. So the next time you find yourself the target of a narcissist's smear campaign, remember the power of your voice, the strength in honest conversations, and the enduring wisdom of the Stoics, who remind us to stay true to ourselves amidst the chaos. How will you choose to respond? Will you allow the lies to fester, or will you rise above and seek the truth directly? The choice, as always, is yours. If you've made it this far, you're a beacon of strength. Drop a comment saying, I stand strong, to show you're ready to handle any challenge a narcissist throws your way. Stay tuned, the journey is a bit left. Ten. Rebuilding your reputation. Picture you're sailing smoothly in life and suddenly, a storm of deceit and manipulation hits, turning people you once trusted against you. How do you navigate this turbulent sea and restore your reputation? Here's a strategy you might not have considered, guided by the wisdom of ancient Stoic philosophy. Rebuilding your reputation after a narcissist has turned people against you can feel like a Herculean task, unfair and emotionally draining. However, in the face of such adversity, it's often the good and honest individuals in your network who first recognize the inconsistencies and approach you directly, just as the kind brother in our story was confronted by the one person who saw through the lies. These genuine people are your allies, and their support is invaluable. The journey to reclaim your good name is undoubtedly arduous, and filled with discomfort, but it is also a profound opportunity to reassess and strengthen your relationships. Reflecting on the actions of the narcissist, you may begin to see a silver lining. Their deceitful behavior acts as a litmus test for your social circle, revealing the true nature of those around you. Were they genuine friends or merely fair-weather acquaintances? This revelation, although painful, 
is a crucial step in rebuilding a more resilient and supportive network. The only way to deal with this life given our common goal of emotional resilience is to be realistic, patient, and understanding, as Epictetus might have advised. Recognize that those who stood by you despite the storm are the ones worth keeping close. Rebuilding your reputation involves several key steps. First, maintain your composure and stay true to your values. The Stoics believed in the importance of inner tranquility and integrity, regardless of external circumstances. Marcus Aurelius once said, The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. By embodying your principles and refusing to stoop to the narcissist's level, you demonstrate strength of character that will eventually shine through the clouds of doubt cast by others. Next, communicate openly with those who matter. Address the situation calmly and honestly, providing evidence or explanations where necessary. This isn't about justifying yourself to everyone, but rather ensuring that those who truly care understand your perspective. Cicero once remarked, A friend is, as it were, a second self. Genuine friends will appreciate your transparency and stand by your side. Additionally, take this opportunity to cultivate new relationships and reinforce old ones based on mutual respect and trust. Expand your network by connecting with individuals who share your values and who have demonstrated reliability in times of crisis. This not only helps in repairing your reputation, but also in building a more robust support system for the future. Seneca wisely noted, One of the most beautiful qualities of true friendship is to understand and to be understood. Seek out those who embody this sentiment. Moreover, engage in self-improvement and personal growth. Use this challenging period as a catalyst for becoming a better version of yourself. Whether it's developing new skills, pursuing hobbies, or deepening your knowledge, these positive changes can help shift the focus away from the negativity imposed by the narcissist and towards your own progress. As Aristotle aptly put it, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Let this be your guiding principle as you move forward. Finally, practice patience and resilience. Rebuilding a tarnished reputation doesn't happen overnight and it's important to stay the course even when progress seems slow. Trust in the process, and remind yourself that true character is revealed over time. The Stoic philosopher Seneca stated, It does not matter what you bear, but how you bear it. Embrace this wisdom as you navigate the complexities of your situation. In modern life, we often find ourselves facing similar challenges, whether in personal relationships, professional environments, or social circles. The strategies outlined here are not just for extraordinary circumstances, but can be applied to everyday situations where integrity and resilience are tested. By adhering to these principles, you can not only rebuild your reputation, but also emerge stronger and wiser. Remember, adversity reveals character. When faced with the manipulations of a narcissist, see it as an opportunity to refine your own virtues and to distinguish true friends from mere acquaintances. This journey, while difficult, is a testament to your strength and an essential part of your personal growth. As the ancient Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, it's not what happens to you but how you react to it that matters. Embrace this wisdom and let it guide you through the storm to calmer, clearer waters ahead. Eleven. Approaching with Grace Think about a scenario where someone you've trusted has suddenly turned people against you, spreading lies and creating a whirlwind of negativity. It's a tough pill to swallow, especially when the orchestrator is a narcissist. Narcissists are adept at manipulating situations and preying on people's vulnerabilities. So, how do you navigate this minefield with your dignity and integrity intact? The answer lies in approaching the situation with grace. Grace is your armor your shield, and your guiding light through the turmoil. As the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. 
When you find yourself the target of such manipulation, it's essential to remember that those being misled are also victims of the narcissist's web. Instead of responding with anger or denial, approach them with empathy and understanding. Show them that you recognize their predicament and the emotional turmoil they might be experiencing. Acknowledge their feelings and let them know that you're sorry they've been put in such a difficult position. Express your hope that they know you well enough to see through the lies and understand your true character. By extending this olive branch, you not only disarm the negativity, but also exhibit the strength of your character. This empathetic approach does not mean you have to validate the lies. Instead, it's about addressing the situation with a calm and composed demeanor, showing that you are not the person the narcissist is trying to portray. You might say, I understand this situation is tough for you, and I'm here if you ever want to talk directly. I value our relationship, and I'm always available to listen. This way, you turn a painful experience into an opportunity to show your resilience and your capacity for forgiveness and understanding. One of the most powerful tools in your arsenal is the ability to listen. When people come to you with the stories they've heard, listen without interrupting or getting defensive. This demonstrates your openness and willingness to understand their perspective, which can be incredibly disarming. It aligns with the wisdom of Epictetus, who advised, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. By listening more than you speak, you gain the upper hand, as people will often realize the inconsistency in the stories they've been told. Moreover, it's vital to maintain your composure and not allow the situation to derail your emotional state. This is where the practice of Stoicism becomes invaluable. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we cannot. In this case, you cannot control the narcissist or the rumors they spread, but you can control your reaction to them. By staying calm and collected, you preserve your inner peace and project a strength that others will respect and admire. Another practical step is to continue living your life with integrity and consistency. People are more likely to believe in what they see over time rather than what they hear in passing. By consistently demonstrating your true character through your actions, you slowly but surely dismantle the false image the narcissist has tried to build. This echoes the sentiment of Socrates, who believed that the way to gain a good reputation is to endeavor to be what you desire to appear. While handling this situation with grace, it's also crucial to set boundaries. Protecting yourself from further harm is not only wise but necessary. Politely but firmly let the narcissist and their flying monkeys know that you will not engage in toxic behavior. If needed, distance yourself from those who perpetuate the negativity. As Seneca wisely noted, associate with people who are likely to improve you. Surrounding yourself with supportive and positive individuals will fortify your resilience and help you stay grounded. In modern life, where social media can amplify rumors and misinformation at lightning speed, maintaining grace under pressure becomes even more important. The digital age has made it easier for narcissists to spread their venom, but it has also given you tools to showcase your true self to a broader audience. Use these platforms wisely to share your values, your truth, and your positive actions. Over time, your consistent display of character will overshadow any falsehoods. Finally, always remember the importance of self-care during such tumultuous times. Being targeted by a narcissist can be emotionally draining. Take time to recharge, whether through meditation, exercise, or spending time with loved ones who support you. Practicing mindfulness and staying connected to your inner self will help you navigate the storm with clarity and strength. When a narcissist turns people against you, respond with grace. Approach the situation with empathy, maintain your composure, listen more than you speak, live with integrity, set firm boundaries, and prioritize self-care. By doing so, you not only protect your peace but also emerge stronger and wiser. As the Stoics teach us, it's not the situation itself but how we respond to it that defines our character. And in the face of adversity, let your grace be your defining trait. Twelve, disempowering the narcissist.
To disempower a narcissist's darkness, you must bring in the light. Narcissistic individuals are primarily driven by their insecurity, leading them to treat others like pawns on a chessboard, moving them around to win the game. When they try to spread malicious gossip about you to turn people against you, it's all part of their game of chess. They seek to win as many people over to their side as possible, turning it into a vicious game of tactics to outsmart you. However, you don't have to let them win. It is possible that the narcissistic person in your life may share personal information about your relationship with others inappropriately, including betraying trust and sharing sensitive information that you perhaps shouldn't have shared with them. It is a devastating thought that they might use family secrets to hurt you, as these are things you shared in private with the understanding that they would be kept confidential. Imagine standing in the midst of a storm, feeling the fierce wind of betrayal whipping against you, trying to knock you down. This is often what it feels like when a narcissist turns people against you. They manipulate and deceive, leaving you isolated and doubting your own reality. But remember, even in the darkest storms, there is a way to stand firm and reclaim your power. The key lies in understanding their tactics and choosing a path they never expect. When dealing with a narcissist, the first step is to maintain your composure. He who angers you conquers you, said Elizabeth Kenny. Keeping your cool in the face of their provocations not only disempowers them, but also keeps you in control of your own actions and emotions. It's easy to get swept up in the emotions of the moment, but take a deep breath and remind yourself that their words and actions are more about their insecurities than your worth. Next, consider the power of your own truth. Narcissists thrive on confusion and doubt, but clarity can cut through their web of lies. Be clear and consistent in your communication with others. Share your side of the story with honesty and integrity. While it might be tempting to retaliate with the same tactics, resist this urge. Instead, let your actions and words reflect your true character. Trust that over time the truth has a way of coming to light. Building and maintaining strong, genuine relationships is another crucial strategy. Narcissists may try to isolate you, but your connections with others can be your greatest defense. Invest time in nurturing relationships with those who truly care about you. These bonds can provide support and perspective, reminding you that you are not alone. Ask yourself, who are the people in my life who truly see and support me? Focus your energy on these relationships, as they can be a source of strength and validation when the narcissist tries to undermine you. Another essential tactic is to set and enforce firm boundaries. Narcissists often push limits to see how far they can go. By clearly defining what you will and will not tolerate, you create a protective barrier around yourself. This can be challenging, especially if the narcissist is someone close to you. But remember that protecting your mental and emotional well-being is paramount. As the philosopher Epictetus said, No man is free who is not master of himself. By mastering your boundaries, you reclaim your freedom from their manipulation. Self-care and self-reflection are vital components of this journey. Narcissists can leave you feeling drained and questioning your self-worth. Make time for activities that rejuvenate and inspire you. Whether it's through meditation, exercise, or creative pursuits, find ways to reconnect with your inner strength and joy. Reflect on your experiences and consider how they've shaped you. How have these challenges helped you grow? What strengths have you discovered within yourself? It's also beneficial to educate yourself about narcissistic behavior. Understanding the psychology behind their actions can provide clarity and reduce the emotional impact of their manipulation. Knowledge is empowering, and by learning more about narcissism, you equip yourself with tools to navigate interactions more effectively. Consider reading books or seeking support from professionals who specialize in this area. The more you know, the less power their tactics will have over you. Lastly, practice forgiveness. Not for the narcissist's sake, but for your own peace of mind. Holding on to anger and resentment can weigh heavily on your spirit. By forgiving, you release the hold they have over your emotions. This doesn't mean condoning their behavior, but rather freeing yourself from the burden of negativity. Nelson Mandela once said, Resentment is like drinking poison, 
and then hoping it will kill your enemies. Let go of the poison and choose to move forward with a lighter heart. Dealing with a narcissist who turns people against you can be incredibly challenging, but it's not insurmountable. By maintaining your composure, speaking your truth, nurturing genuine relationships, setting boundaries, practicing self-care, educating yourself, and embracing forgiveness, you can reclaim your power and resilience. Remember, the storm may be fierce, but you have the strength within you to stand firm and shine your light. How will you choose to empower yourself in the face of their darkness? Thirteen, repairing relationships. Repairing relationships damaged by a narcissist's manipulations is a complex yet essential task. First and foremost, it is crucial to acknowledge any role you may have played in the situation. If you inadvertently shared information that was inappropriate or harmful, take full responsibility for your actions. This accountability is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your integrity and commitment to mending the rift. Marcus Aurelius once said, The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. By owning up to your mistakes, you differentiate yourself from the narcissist's deceitful tactics. Seeking therapy can be an invaluable step during this tumultuous time. A therapist can help you navigate the confusion and destabilization caused by gaslighting, a common tactic used by narcissists to make you doubt your reality. Therapy provides a safe space to process your emotions, gain clarity, and develop strategies to cope with psychological warfare. As Epictetus wisely noted, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Therapy equips you with the tools to respond to adversity with strength and composure. Recognizing and utilizing your support systems is another crucial element. Reflect on those in your life who have consistently shown loyalty and understanding. These are your allies, much like the kind brother in the story who stepped up to defend your character. In times of crisis, these individuals can provide the affirmation and support you need. Cultivating these relationships not only helps repair the immediate damage, but also reinforces a network of trust and mutual respect. As Seneca said, one of the most beautiful qualities of true friendship is to understand and to be understood. In the modern world, where social dynamics are often influenced by social media and public perception, it is easy to feel overwhelmed when your reputation is under attack. The rapid spread of misinformation can exacerbate feelings of isolation and helplessness. However, this is where your Stoic practice comes into play. Embrace the Stoic principle of focusing on what you can control, your actions, your reactions, and your inner peace. By maintaining your composure and integrity, you signal to others that you are grounded and trustworthy. Moreover, it is vital to maintain open and honest communication with those who matter most to you. Share your experiences and feelings with them candidly. This transparency can dispel any doubts and counteract the narcissist's attempts to tarnish your reputation. Building this level of trust takes time and consistent effort, but it is a worthwhile investment in the longevity and depth of your relationships. As Ralph Waldo Emerson aptly put it, the only way to have a friend is to be one. In situations where direct confrontation is unavoidable, approach it with a calm and rational mindset. Avoid getting entangled in emotional outbursts or retaliatory behavior, as these reactions only serve to play into the narcissist's hands. Instead, present your case with facts and evidence, maintaining a composed demeanor. This approach not only preserves your dignity but also demonstrates to others your commitment to truth and fairness. Remember, as Aristotle taught, patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. Lastly, Take time to reflect on the broader lessons this experience offers. Challenges such as these, though painful, are opportunities for growth and self-improvement. By enduring and overcoming such trials, you develop resilience and a deeper understanding of human nature. These insights can guide you in future interactions, helping you to build stronger, more authentic connections. In the words of Viktor Frankl, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. In conclusion, when a narcissist turns people against you, 
It is vital to approach the situation with accountability, seek therapeutic support, rely on your trusted allies, and maintain clear and honest communication. By doing so, you not only repair the damage but also fortify your relationships and personal integrity. Embrace these strategies as opportunities for growth, and remember that your response, grounded in wisdom and stoicism, defines your character far more than the actions of those who seek to harm you. Fourteen. Finding the Silver Lining Imagine you're living your life, minding your own business, when suddenly, a narcissist starts turning people against you. It feels like a tidal wave of negativity, and you might feel isolated and betrayed. However, there is a profound lesson to be learned here, one that goes beyond the immediate pain. When a narcissist manipulates others to turn against you, it reveals the true nature of those around you. This is a harsh but invaluable filter that separates fair-weather friends from those who genuinely value you. In moments like these, when you feel the world closing in, remember the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This wisdom reminds us that while we cannot control the actions of others, we can control our response. The immediate reaction might be anger or sorrow, but if we look deeper, we can find a silver lining. The betrayal of some reveals the steadfastness of others. True friends and allies will stand by your side, providing unwavering support. These are the relationships that are worth nurturing and cherishing. Bringing light to any situation, especially one filled with darkness and deceit, is the best defense against negativity. Seek out those who support you, those who see through the manipulations and lies, and those who have your best interests at heart. It's during these challenging times that you realize the importance of a strong support network. This network will help you weather the storm, providing not only comfort, but also strength. In our modern, fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the opinions and actions of others. Social media can amplify this, making it feel like the whole world is against you. But remember, the noise is often just that. Noise. Focus on the signals that matter. The people who reach out to check on you, who defend you in your absence, and who offer a shoulder to cry on, are the ones who truly matter. They are the beacons of light in an otherwise dark scenario. Moreover, reflecting on the stoic principle of controlling what you can and accepting what you cannot is crucial here. Marcus Aurelius, another stoic sage, advised, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. When faced with adversity, your mindset can make all the difference. Instead of dwelling on the betrayal, shift your focus to gratitude for those who remain loyal. This shift in perspective not only aids in emotional resilience, but also reinforces the bonds with those who are truly on your side. Expanding on this, let's consider the concept of resilience itself. Resilience is not just about bouncing back from a setback, it's about growing stronger because of it. Every challenge you face, every person who turns against you, is an opportunity to refine your understanding of who you are and who you want in your life. It's a painful but effective way to prune the tree of your social circle, ensuring that only the most supportive and genuine connections remain. A famous quote by Albert Einstein can be particularly enlightening here. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. When a narcissist targets you, it's undeniably a difficult situation. However, within this difficulty lies the opportunity to strengthen your core relationships and to develop a deeper understanding of human nature. By observing who stays and who goes, you gain insight into the true dynamics of your relationships. In practical terms, how can you apply this wisdom to your life? First, maintain your composure. Don't let the actions of the narcissist and their flying monkeys dictate your emotional state. Instead, remain calm and collected, demonstrating to others that you are unshaken by the turmoil. This stoic calmness can often disarm the narcissist's efforts as they thrive on chaos and emotional reactions. Next, communicate openly with those who are important to you. Let them know your side of the story without resorting to the same manipulative tactics used against you. 
honesty, and transparency are your allies here. By presenting your truth calmly and clearly, you allow others to see through the facade created by the narcissist. Furthermore, take this opportunity to strengthen your inner self. Engage in practices that build your resilience and emotional strength. Meditation, journaling, and physical exercise can all play a role in maintaining your mental health during such challenging times. As the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius advised, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Keep your thoughts positive and focused on growth, and your spirit will remain strong. Lastly, seek out professional support if needed. Talking to a therapist or counselor can provide an external perspective and help you navigate the emotional complexities of the situation. There's no shame in seeking help. In fact, it's a sign of strength and self-awareness. When faced with the painful reality of a narcissist turning people against you, look for the silver lining. Recognize the true friends who stand by you, focus on what you can control, and maintain a positive mindset. Use this challenge as an opportunity for growth and to strengthen your support network. Remember the wisdom of the Stoics and other great thinkers. Your reaction to adversity defines your character. By remaining steadfast and resilient, you not only survive the ordeal but emerge stronger and more enlightened. Thank you for watching today's video on when a narcissist turns people against you. This is what you should do that you never think about. I hope you found it enlightening and helpful. Have you ever experienced betrayal from someone you trusted and felt the sting of disloyalty? Understanding the manipulative tactics of narcissists is crucial for protecting yourself. Remember, the power of a narcissist only lasts as long as you allow it. Trust your intuition, lean on genuine friends and family, and prioritize your mental well-being. I encourage you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Have you ever dealt with a narcissist's smear campaign or felt isolated because of their actions? Your stories could help others going through similar situations. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more insights and strategies to navigate life's challenges with stoic resilience. Thank you again for watching, and have a wonderful day.